my friends, and welcome. Did you miss me? I didn't miss myself. Because I'm always with me, no matter where I go. How y'all doing this morning? It's your friendly neighborhood old bat here with another wake and bake. Oh, another day. Another Saturday. And it's beautiful outside. And it wasn't busy at all last night because it's Good Friday and everybody's out with their families. And yeah, that old chestnut. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start with uh, Drama Clip Dump. Yeah, we'll come back to that. We'll uh, start with Black Onion. Nick Bravo gives unsolicited advice to Cobes. Now, I don't feel that Nick Bravo should be giving anybody relationship advice because that man's only had one fucking relationship. And he don't be in, you know, until you've gotten some years under your belt, you really don't have any point of reference. Hey, K Fabe, Megan C, Granny Grunt, Little Miss Stubborn. How y'all doing this morning? I wouldn't take advice. Yeah, I've been busy today, but I had to come and make this video because during lunch I was watching Terry stream, not watching it live, but watching from my Morning, and Corky go on and on about his nonsense. And I had to make a video about it. Just had to. And I got a lot of work to do, but I took time out of my day, Corky. Okay, okay, babe. Discuss your, your uh, nonsense. So without further ado, let's roll this bean footage. Hey, Mantis, how you doing, baby? I love that intro. Jessica was supposed to have Cobes with me. And I do have to give a lot of credit to Cobes for not retaliating, at least from what we can tell him. I didn't him. sleep well either, Mantis. But one thing I really, one thing that really uh, spoke to me was the fact that I am functioning on zero sleep. Zero. I'm hoping to catch a nap this afternoon because I, I mean, I could not fucking sleep to save my soul. I could not sleep. That uh, Carrie, when this was happening, was basically cackling like a hyena. I mean, just just giggling, laughing, thinking it was funny. Now, this is what Corky does all the time. He makes up a lie. Now, I watched that video, and I didn't see her laughing. I didn't see her fucking laughing. Because none of that shit was funny. I can think of a lot of things that are funny. That wouldn't happen to have been one of them. Queen Cobra needs, needs some serious psychological fucking help. 
or jail. Ho jail. Yeah, she needs ho jail. Because you don't put your fucking hands on people. And why Cobes put up with that shit, I have no fucking clue. Hopefully, whenever whenever she goes back to uh, Virginia Beach this time, he loses her fucking number. About somebody. Some, some, he, ta- he watches their stream, but then he has to lie. Hey, Free Plus Chat. saw the stream that's probably watching Corky saying, and Great no Whisperer. Um, this just because Carrie didn't do that. Carrie was watching the Jessica thing, but she wasn't laughing about it. Nobody was laughing about it. So, Corky, you're lying. You're a liar. Hey, Lynette, how you doing? You are, just like Von Hilton, you can never tell the truth, can you, Corky? Not even, you know, you just can't. He's coming to your house next. Okay, free plus Um, tax. You know, Auntie Jessie was also streaming it. At least she had the good sense to, like, she was editing or something. She put something in her community tab about, you know, how domestic violence is wrong, about how, you know, in a way we all are kind of responsible because we're, you know, we're watching train wrecks, right? And then something like this happens. We shouldn't be surprised. We really shouldn't be surprised at all that stuff like that happens. You know, I mean, you know, everybody uh, in the, in the, uh, I hesitate to call it a, a community because it's not really a community. Um, you mean to tell me, Corky, you don't know what a community is? Of course it's a community. Haven't you even learned that with all those books you have on your bookshelf and you don't even know what a community is, Corky? This this mob that we call... Uh... We are more than a community here. We are more than a community. We are a family. When one of us suffers, all of us suffer. I don't know how you work things over where you're at, but that's how we work things. When one suffers, all suffer. I don't know how you run things over where you're at, but that's how we run things. We care about people here. Uh, the reviewers. And they're not even really reviewing anything. It's more of just kind of people ganging up on each other which is really disgusting. Uh, it's really disgusting, except for that's what you do. That's what your whole channel is. Yeah, she to. did, K-Fabe. Reviewing what other people say. But you put in there, your little lies and said, claim people. He said, said as much. Things they didn't, like claiming that uh, Carrie was laughing and cackling like a hyena and stuff when she wasn't. But, um, you know, other than that, you're, you're hey, a man, Gary, like how you doing, are. buddy? You're just a dishonest reviewer. And they're more honest about their views. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. And the fact that Carrie was laughing and giggling about it. Liar! 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 You know, I'll, I'll stand by it. I predict it. You know, an out of book photographer whose photographs are you know, mid at best. But you know, I mean, instead of working on her business, she's busy. You know, Maybe? 24 7, it seems like. She Sounds needs- like you're talking about yourself. Except for the photography. Yep, you are my illegitimate child. Who cares what her photography is? Of course, if she was the best photographer in the world, you would criticize it. Because that's who you are. But, uh, you know, she should be out working on her business. Why aren't you out working on your business? You know what? As far as I'm concerned, you're you're all my, my little brothers and sisters. You're all my little brothers and sisters. And that means that I torture you from time to time. And you know I do that because I love you. Just think of me as your sadistic older sister. Yes. You're streaming 24-7 <laughs> as much as Carrie does. You do as many lives as Carrie does or Rabbit Old Bat does. Oh, okay, Randall. But you want to bitch about them doing it. Like they need to do something else with their lives. Why don't you do something about your life? Huh? You know, I mean, uh, what is that phrase? Uh, you know, uh, the cot, pot calling the kettle black. Uh, that comes to mind. Now, the thing of it is, is like, what I would like to see happen in the Jessica Cope situation, I would like to see them both get counseling, both be brutally honest with themselves and each other, but they're nowhere near that. 
as far as gloves. There's three points I need to get over there. One, you you have no business telling anybody to be brutally honest when you're you're the denial queen of YouTube. For one, you've never been honest in your life. That's one. And my second point is um they don't need to seek counseling. They've only been together a few two times. Okay. This is a relationship. These two need, Jessica and Cobes need to part ways. Period. I'm sorry. They need to part fucking ways. That's how I feel about it. Those two need to part ways. Because Jessica is too unhinged. She is batshit fucking crazy. And I never thought I'd hear myself say that about another fucking human being because I'm batshit crazy. You know, some of the, the way I view some things is kind is is really off kilter sometimes. And this woman, the way she views things is really off kilter. Whenever I call you crazy, you crazy. Relationship in its infancy. <laughs> To start out a relationship as infancy to go to counseling is ridiculous because they have no history to talk about, dumbass. You know, what what Coves needs to do is get her on her plane back home and sever all ties with hey, her. Irish, That's what Coves doing, needs to do. Coves needs to get the hell out of that relationship because Jessica is is uh got some serious issues and Coves doesn't need that and Coves isn't able to deal with that, to be honest with you. The Cobes is not set up to deal with that. Number three is you have no room to give anybody relationship advice. Yeah, exactly. You just started and, your first relationship in your entire life and already exactly. you're an expert on relationships and what people should do. Cobes has more experience with women than you do, um, Nick. Yeah, that's a fair so you're the Cobes has got a lot more experience with women than than Nick does. He does. And Cobes has very has limited experience with women. He has very limited experience with women. And I just don't get it. Um, how he thinks he can give relationship advice to someone who's already been in a relationship and pretty much knows what to do. And I think Cobes is starting to see that, you know, maybe this Jessica thing isn't such a hot idea. And I realize he's got oppositional defiance disorder. But I think maybe he's starting to see the light. And I, that's saying something. We want to bet that Cobes lose her, loses her fucking number whenever she gets back to where she where she come from. We want to bet. Because if they don't, if they continue to see each other, it's only a matter of time before something tragic happens. The last person Cobes needs to go to for advice to be brutally honest with you, Cobes or um, Nick or Corky. To be brutally honest, you have no business giving anybody relationship advice just because you you some you found the one girl on the entire planet that would have sex with you or have a relationship with you, and now you're an expert on on interrelational bullshit. You're not Corky. Right, they, neither of them has any real self awareness. And neither do you, Corky. At least so it seems, right? Um, but unfortunately, it seems like a lot of the people that agree with them don't either. Pot kettle. Um, I, I do suspect Jessica has uh, bipolar or something. And we see videos of her at home. She's a 40 year old woman uh, screaming at her mother, and, you know, kind of rightfully so. Nice armchair psychology there, uh, Nick. How do you know she's bipolar? I know she's just not a bitch. 
from what I understand, she's had several head injuries, which make her act like this, which means she's pro she probably needs to be in a group home setting because she can't take care of herself. What the fuck do you know? I've only seen one video of her, and she's talking about having sex with the Puerto Rican guy because she hadn't had sex with that ethnicity, but she had all the other ones or something. She's a whole. Um, Jessica really does need female friends. She needs friends who love her, care about her, understand her. The deal with it is, it's like this whole this whole review mob. Whole review mob that you're a part of. It's all about like spectacle and shaming and insulting each other. And all this other stuff, and then, you know, it, it, it's like the worst of them. Like Karen, when I act surprised when these people do something, do something like get violent with each other or do something, and we shouldn't be surprised because we are feeding into it. Speak for yourself, numb nuts. I'm not feeding into it. I watch Cobes. I like Cobes. I'm not a troll of Cobes. I don't make videos make fun of Cobes. I made one about his drinking. You know what? I like Cobes too. And I make videos about Cobes. But I do not have any ill will towards Cobes. I love Cobes. I do. I like Cobes. Cobes is an all right kid. Jessica is a freaking beast. She is too messed up to be out on her own. She just is. And I legit feel bad for her because what's it? I mean, can you imagine what it's like having your, having your complete perspective skewed due to a brain injury and then not being able to correct yourself? Or be able to think any other fucking way? Or have control of yourself? Or be able to control yourself at all? Being unmedicated. At all. Oh my god, that is one of my worst fears. Not being in possession of my mind. Because Cobes definitely has an alcohol problem. But other than that, Cobes is a nice little guy. I mean, he's not too bright. He's got... Hey, he's Nick, got Nick how you doing, buddy? Fake autism, because you never were uh, diagnosed with autism. You made all that shit up. Because you know that these people are probably watching her because they're seeing the best stuff about them. Yeah, she's unmedicated, she's Lynette. ...parts of themselves and first parts of their lives online for anybody to see. That causes stress. And Jessica, I don't think, deals with stress very well other than to drink. You don't know Jessica's history. I don't either. I'm not claiming I do. But you fucking don't either, dumbass. You probably just heard about her probably a couple weeks ago like everybody else did. I mean, I've seen a few videos of her, but um, a lot of these women, a lot of these men too, when they get, when, they, uh, when they're addicts, they want to act tough because, you know, the drugs. What's your excuse for acting tough? You threatened to kick my ass. You threatened to, if, Rabbit old bat was a male. You would have kicked rabbit old bat's ass. Uh, you're, <laughs> a lot of people. You're, you're one of the biggest threateners. That's okay. If he wasn't a, if he wasn't a lady, I'd kick his ass. <laughs> I won't hit a lady, but I'll beat the brakes off a bitch. <laughs> That's a line from the Cleveland show. <laughs> violent threateners online what's your excuse hey von beardo how you doing typically used to cover up a lot of intense emotional and psychological pain and that's what you know carrie uh and others do here in this review community use that term loosely uh, they laugh at other people's pain you're so stupid. You are really stupid, Corky. Nobody's laughing at the Jessica Cobb situation. People are watching it because, you know, 
everybody likes a good train wreck, but it, I I look at and I'm feeling sorry for poor Cobes that he's involved with this um, harpy, this fucking crazy ass berserker woman, berserker probably woman, on crystal meth, as well. You know what? Um, he's right. This woman has burned out just about every l remaining synapse in her brain. She couldn't behave normally if she tried. And you know what? I'm not saying being normal is all it's cracked up to be neither because, you know, I tried being normal for like 20 minutes and, man, it just it just made me tired. It's alcohol, but uh, I can't say that for sure. But I, I, by the way she acts, I would say she's doing crystal meth. <laughs> Oh, I you're got... lying about everybody saying it's funny when so nobody much. is saying it's funny. Just front. so that you can make good your news, point and make good news on the weight front. I finally managed to get under 198 and I'm at 197.6. I might actually be turning this thing around. I think I might have found a way. I think I think I think I finally got a hold of this thing. I hope I do. I know I've said it a million times, but I keep hopefully I've got a hold of this thing. This food addiction thing. Because I don't like this yourself look like you're better than everybody else see everybody thinks it's funny and i don't think it's funny even though nobody thinks it's funny corky's gonna say everybody thinks it's funny so it makes corky look better you know what my scale says nick geek out nothing's funny and i'm gonna have to give props to Cobes for not you know what my scale says get off me you fat bitch you know because uh, a lot of guys think it's fun and they'll just haul off and you know punch porn and especially if there's alcohol involved. You know, a friend of mine told me, you know, he said, I, there's not one situation that alcohol cannot make worse. And it's very true. And I mean, I would say Cobes needs friends too. If he just came back, he'd call him up and say, hey, you know, how you doing? Are you okay? You know, Cobes has friends. The problem was most of his friends in real life are people that are just like him. You know, people who... <laughs> Don't do anything in life but just drink and do drugs all the time, unfortunately. But, you know, I like Cobes, even though he's, what, 20, 30 years younger than I am? Probably just a little over or a little under 30. You're like 20 years older than him. Jessica's 10 years older than him. But, uh, you know, you tell people what they need. Dude. Fix your own freaking life. Your your life is a train wreck too. You know, you you know, and that's that's what gets that's what gets me about fucking Nick, fucking Corky. He wants to tell everybody how to live their life. Give advice. He tried to tell me how to live my fucking life. Now he wants to tell Cobes how to live his fucking life. You know what? As far as I'm concerned, as long as you're living in a, in a Section 8 house with your shit paid for, don't fucking come to me. Don't bother with it. I ain't got time for this shit. You could be involved with that Jessica woman. Well, except for she wouldn't have you. You'd probably gross her out, but you can't even have that hey, one. Hey, Caesar Gypsy, I mean, how are you doing, like, baby? Corky, you're just fucking, you're, you're a clown, Corky. And quit trying to give people advice. You don't have the experience in life to give advice like that.
Okay, let's see what else we got here. Boglum Chronicles. Fight Night, round two. Yes, Josh, he's here. Yo, uh, why is my hair like this? No, no, that's no, no, that's not a hairstyle I like. What, fourth? <laughs> I probably would, and I. Are you all right, Joshy? Mm hmm. What's that thought on your brain? No, I. What's what's on your brain? Nothing. You all right? Yeah, right. I was asleep before I stopped over here. I think I'm going to get back here soon, but. Was you going to show that their, uh, their uh, absence? No, I'm all right. I just got my tummy set, settled down. Uh, they got they got into a big, huge blowout. Jessica was hitting herself, and I think, um, from what I understand, she slapped Cobes across the face. Um, and... That's that's where I'm at right now. As far as the Jessica shit. Um, and this is the second Fight Night video. I'm for dinner. I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Sounds good, dude. Yeah, thank you, though. I really appreciate it, man. Anytime. Thank you. We're all here for Josh. I fucking love Josh. He's my goddamn. We're all. Bitch. Why the fuck do you think I'm here for well, Josh? Why the fuck do you think he's here for Josh? We're we're all well. Yes, I'm a friend of yours too. But you knew Josh before me. Josh is the fucking man. Josh is the goddamn handsome devil. I can sit next to Josh, but I'd literally have to sit on his lap, and I don't mind sitting on his lap. And I was definitely sitting on his lap earlier. She doesn't want to get in trouble for sexual content on YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm not sitting on Aaron's lap. I'll sit on Josh's. Thank you. <laughs> Josh, he's my man, baby doll. Oh, boy. Who are you trying to convince? You, yourself, or everybody else? I don't like you, Jessica. Nope. Not one damn bit. Man, I tell you. What? People are silly. People are kind of silly is putting it very... Josh very don't got a girlfriend. <laughs> okay, fuck you. Yeah. Come on, mods. Come on. This is what I'm telling you. Do I got to hop in the chat and start banning trolls? Because you, you got to learn to ignore the trolls regardless of what mm, I'm I know. Around. I'm just saying. But no. Yeah, it does get annoying. I I, I totally get it. Also, other words. Do you like Latinas? Yes, I, I have no, I have no, I have no uh, <coughs> racial preference. No racial preference. There exactly. you go. There you go. Um, I'm sitting next to Aaron, but literally, I'm literally closer. I don't think people probably understand how like why I'm this... literally closer to Josh than I am. To him, yeah, thank this, you. This little futon is a lot. Thank you. Hey, We've man. got plenty of distance between us. Like Josh is right I can, I the can fuck here. Yeah. arm out, and it looks like I. Really and he short he still here. can't touch me. You can't touch this. <laughs> and see here. Now they're all gonna think I've got midget arms, but oh, that might be incorrect mm. anymore. It is what it is, Jessica. I'm sorry oh my that you're God. not. As, and happy and alive as she could be. Mm. Uh, I don't it's not like you want to hopefully get the firing. Did you see her swilling that right from the bottle? I only seen that shit in movies. She was drinking out of that like I drink out of this Mountain Dew bottle. I only drink schnapps like that. When you get home tomorrow or tomorrow, 
in a couple of days whenever you go home tomorrow or next day. Josh, you haven't even seen if it's been shipped off yet. It should be shipped off. I hope so. Why, Josh? No. Why? Tell me. Very bad. That's really not sometimes. Do you like girls or boys or both? Me? No. Um, I like girls. Thanks. Sex is not needed as a watch, and a woman is not needed as a watch. But I get what you're jiving at, but I get mad at you. Jo- or not Josh. Uh, you, you got some woman in my chat that wants to sit on your face. Oh. No, that's Jessica's job, not yours. Hey, no, that <laughs> Joshy, that is not my Josh. Joshy is so pure in his little sayings, and so I love him. Oh my god! Oh, for crying out loud! Yeah, oh, damn it. Mm-hmm. What is, oh my God. I got a hundred, I got a hundred things trying to come to, come to my, come into my head at once. I'm trying to come out at once that I want to say. She is, she is just a succubus. And hopefully he will lose her fucking number whenever she leaves this time. Oppositional defiance or disorder or not. This chick is going to ruin his fucking life. You know, I, I can do some crazy mad dog shit, but this woman has got me beat. She's got me beat nine ways to fucking Sunday as far as crazy. When you get into when you get into actual physical damage to the brain, like she has, there is no going back. There just isn't. Yeah. He's so cute. Like, if you had a Josh or Jessica of your own, you wouldn't be fucking her exactly because you'd be too busy in love. Right? You'd be too busy in love trying to be some miserable fucking Demogorgon fuck on the internet. Right? Josh, what's in your hand? No, okay. <laughs> Good for him. It's fine. I'm good. Okay. Don't you mention the bags of ice? Just to acknowledge it didn't happen. Why can't you be here? Dude, I buy bags of ice. I buy bags of ice to put in my fridge. Oh, you can have some, please. <laughs> I use I use them. Oh, I use uh, them no. too. Exactly. Actually, she's. Like, I love ice. Well, I'm such a, I'm such a <laughs> like, I hate refilling my ice cube trays. Hey, Blue, how you doing, I buddy? I smell Aaron the other night, you loser. Just a, yeah, that, that's wow. Okay, that's that never happened. <laughs> Uh, and we all need love to reproduce. Well, no, not really that. <laughs> oh, I need to get off the internet. I wore the right shirt for this one. I'm good. Oh, just depends on what you believe in. Mm, you and people are disgusting. It's all perspective. Mm. You people are disgusting. Oh. Copes is not melting. Josh, are you melting? No, I'm not melting. 
probably giving too much away, but I work at a bank, so I like to, I like to and have to dress up. But I get all my stuff really cheap at thrift stores. That's my man. But yeah, like I'd rather spend, I'd rather spend three dollars. No, your mouth, Josh, are you alright? Mm-hmm. Mm. Are you like rolling your eyes in the back of your head? No, I'm not. I'm doing just fine, thank you. Ah! Anything in the world for you, baby doll. No, she's not lying. She's just really cool. I would do anything for my Joshie. Anything. Give me a kiss. Joshie. 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 God, that would get on my fucking nerves. Someone call him, you know. Oh my God. I hate that. I hate that. That's, you know, I wouldn't call John Johnny. That's just dumb. Call him John. He's a man. Mm. Josh goes live when he fucking wants to. This isn't his channel. Why don't you fucking text him that? God damn. I don't well, want to. I just go live when I want to. There's nothing to do with anyone. Hey, exactly. Do you hear that? Do you hear that, people? I don't care if his live stream. Hey, Faye, go to the naughty corner for French kissing your dogs. We'll be awesome in a couple of days. I don't give a fuck. Good. Good for Josh. Yeah, I'm tired. I got to get up tomorrow and go to work. Good. 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 <coughs> <coughs> and this goes out to my Joshy. I love mm. this man, people. Always tired. How you doing? Yeah, welcome. Two for me, welcome, two welcome, for you. Welcome. If you want to cook that, and Joshy, um, the cast iron has got bacon grease on it. Um, if you cook, uh, hey, Granny Whisperer. What? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, um, I don't care how you cook it. I'm just trying to understand what you're saying. <laughs> Von Elton. No, Josh, I don't care. If that's a Con Congratulations, Von Helton. You are the dumbest of the cows that I cover. The dumbest. You're dumber than mud. You're dumber than a sack of fucking hammers. What the hell is wrong with you? Can you not see that they were they were looking at the reviews on your fucking products, you idiot? And it has the name of the person who reviewed it? You are regarded. Highly regarded. Joshy, Joshy, don't get upset. I'm not getting upset. Baby, I know you're not. I'm not getting upset. Josh, what's up? What's up? I'm not getting upset. I know. You're All right, not. I'm gonna stop so and give a trigger warning. I, I did it. Corey just gave a trigger warning. Violence ensues, and it gets crazy from here. So, if you are sensitive, if this is going to bother you, you might want to step away from your computer for just a little bit until this is over. And domestic violence is not funny, which is why I'm not going to be saying anything while this fight is going on. This is highly disturbing. No normal relationship functions like this. And if you find yourself in a relationship like this, get help. And if you need to find the resources, I'll help you find the resources. 
I didn't say that, Josh. I didn't say that, I was posting questions. I'm gonna tell you, can, can you let me explain? Because that's clean. This is already dirty. This has baking grease on it, in it, and it will fit it perfectly. I know you're not dating. Look at me. I don't care what you do, Josh. Look at me, Josh. Not really, Kay. Josh. Mm -hmm. I didn't say you were telling me. I know. No, it's not the tone in your voice. It's all good. Josh, you, there's no tone in my voice. It's all good, man. Josh, you. What? First of I all, I, I know, but first of all, Josh, you. I'm just saying, Josh, this is already dirty. Yeah, and? And it's ready to go. It's got bacon grease. You love bacon. Like, what do you yes, think? I, do yeah. like I don't care what you do, Josh. This is your fucking place. At the end of the day, I'm just saying this is already ready to go. I've literally cleaned it out. I don't care what the fuck you do at the end of the day. I don't care what you do. You have two of those are yours. Two of them are mine. I don't care what you do. I'm just saying this is already ready to go. I clean that out for you. Like, why dirty two things? Okay, why did you go to four or five? I don't know. I'm doing and asking questions. I'm and I'm asking questions too, John. Yeah, so don't confuse me. We're both not fighting, so please, we're not getting to that fighting. I'm not. I'm why are you doing this to me? I'm, I'm not, not angry. I didn't Stop. Know. I was just asking questions. That's the second time tonight you have accused me of something, but I say one more thing and don't assume me. I'm not. Stop. I didn't say anything. I was just. Hey, Kratos. Well, you don't take this attitude and like it's somehow my fault. I didn't accuse you of anything. You're literally accusing me of things I haven't done. You're sitting there attacking me for no reason, all because I want to cook it. How long I that? You have oppositional defiance disorder, which means he's not going to do anything you tell him to do. And she is is naturally combative anytime you oppose her on anything. This is not a good combination because Cobes would sooner stand at the gates of hell than do anything that he's told to do. And she's feeding into it. Jessica, you need to go and get and get some help. You need some serious fucking help. And girl, if you're listening. I can suggest some routes to take. How have I attacked you? I said cook it the way you want. How is that me attacking you? Then can you please not say shit about me? That's not true. Well, I beg you, you. You totally say shit about me. That's not true on camera all the fucking time. Josh! Fucking hell. So should I start hitting myself all over no, again? No, because I'll. So please, why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing anything to you. I'm not doing a fucking thing to you, Jessica. You are overreacting. I said you could do whatever you fucking want. And I appreciate that. I don't know why you're getting mad. Because really you keep talking shit about him. I'm not stuff. talking shit about you. I'm not talking shit about you. You, you made stuff about me. I'm going to start recording. You. you made stuff about me twice and you... Josh, you literally make stuff about me twice. I don't no, care. I, I don't give a fuck how you carry you. Cook your shit. Uh, I appreciate that. And I appreciate you offering me big for this. I'll use it. Morning, Negan. Please stop. I haven't fucking done anything. You're yelling at me because. I haven't fucking yelled at you. You're judging me, telling me how to tell you. I don't care how. I was just saying. I don't. Obviously, you care. Otherwise, I don't. No, the stop. Throwing toilet paper. God damn it! Stop it! Stop. 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 Stop.
I'm not fucking out. You've been judging me for fucking the past. You know the fuck I have done. You've been fucking judging me for the fucking past hour and say, I'm doing this and that. Stop it. You're the one that's yelling. You know, no, no. I don't even know how this blew up. It's over a fucking cookie sheet. It's over a fucking cookie sheet. And she's getting her panties in a twist. If this doesn't scream she needs help, I don't know what does. She just couldn't drop it. She just couldn't let it go. And then she went into went into these different tangents. And hitting herself is is troubling, the self-harm. It's all incredibly sad. The fuck I'm not. Could you please stop? We're not, we're not doing this crap, please. Then stop please, talking stop. about me in such shitty fucking ways. I'm not talking about you in any shitty ways, Jessica. Could you please fucking stop? Shit. I'll yes. be there if I'm in the mood to cook. Then so stop. Tell me how to cook it regardless. I'll use you for that pad. Doesn't matter which one I use. Stop! Would you stop yelling? Shit, man. Stop! Would you please stop yelling, Jessica? Would you stop? You're the one that chose not to do it. Stop. And I asked you guys, would you please stop yelling at me? That's all I did. I'm not yelling at you! Right now you're yelling. Would you please stop? Would you please stop? Jessica, calm down, please. Just calm down. It's gonna be okay. Jessica, it's gonna be okay. Stop! Making the noise! I'm not doing anything, Jessica. I'm asking you to please calm down. That's all I'm asking. Did you hear anything out of me? Stop it! But I'm going like this! Stop it! Okay. Please calm down. What did I fucking say? I don't care what you cook out of. Leave me alone. Stop judging me. I'm not judging you. I don't care what the fuck you cook out of. I'm not judging you. Would you please stop? Oh, wow. She just won't stop. She just won't quit. And she's not getting kicked out of there if she didn't shut the hell up. Because those the walls and apartments are paper fucking thin. They quit telling my shout I was talking to you on a normal fucking time. Oh, my, oh, hey, my ass is dragging. Oh, I have to rewind it. Okay, that's oh, fine. I'll, I'll rewind it then. Josh. I don't care. Could you please stop stopping on the fucking floor? This is what got me. It's the moment for us. Then can you please be quiet? It's not on you. I don't fucking care. Tell a fucking thing. I don't okay. care because this is I unnecessary. Don't care. I'm asking you to please quit. I'm asking you to stop. I'm not doing anything. I be quiet. Stop. Stop. I'm not saying to be stop. quiet. I'm just asking you to stop. I don't care. I'm being quiet. Stop. Stop! I'm not stop. doing anything. I'm being quiet. I'm, I'm not doing anything. Neither the fuck am I. Cook it. You know what? Jessica, Jessica just needs to stop talking and walk away. And she won't do it. She has to have the last word. She has to win the argument. Even if she's wrong, she has to win. If you notice, that's how she treats her viewers, too. She treats her viewers like shit. Treats her mods like shit. Treats it pretty much everybody like shit. That's okay, sweetie. If Cobes decides he doesn't want to see you anymore, you won't be uh, getting quite as many views. You want it. I don't care. Obviously, you care what you would be talking about. I don't care. You're... 
You keep asking me to quit. I don't give a fuck. Do what you want. I give a fuck. Would you please stop? But you stop. Cook your shit. You could have been done fucking 20 minutes ago. You're sitting here fighting with me about nothing. I'm you're not stupid. fighting with Could you. Could you please stop, Jessica? Please. How is it my fault? It's not your fault. I'm just asking you to please stop yelling. I'm not accusing you of anything. Could you please just stop? Please, you're telling me to tell you how to fucking. I don't fucking care how you cook your goddamn shit. And I appreciate it. I don't. So leave me out of it. I'm not trying to do anything to you, Jessica. Could you please just stop? Do you hear me? No, you're, you're telling me something. You gotta say something. That's the problem. I'm not doing anything to you. You're oh, flipping so, out for so nothing. You can speak. You are flipping I... out for nothing. You are flipping out for nothing. I'm unstable because people don't want to listen to me. You're unstable because you've had massive brain trauma. And you pickle your brain. Neither of which is doing you any favors. That look on her face. I recognize it. I recognize it all too well. I'm unstable because people don't want to listen to me. Okay. That makes me unstable how? Who are the assholes? The people that don't want to listen to me or what? Your your mother. Your mother. Y your mother. I'm not screaming at anyone, you fucking retard. Show me where I'm screaming. Show me where I've had the chance to scream at anybody. <sighs> you were screaming at Cobra just a little bit ago. You freaking loudmouth woman. Go ahead and pickle your brain some more. It, seem, it seems to be doing you so much good. Why don't you go get some help? This is beyond terrible for me. This is terrible. Jessica just kept pounding and pounding and pounding and pounding and pounding away at Cobes verbally. You know, just, she just kept pounding away at him verbally and just would not shut the fuck up. I know that tactic all too fucking well. All too fucking well. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, it makes me look like... Oh, my oh, I'm like your abusive ex? Oh, that's Thank funny. That. I've never abused anybody, so... You've never heard screaming in your life. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. I'm going to read what Copy Artist has just put out. Men can be abused too. National Domestic Violence Hotline 24 7 language, languages English, Spanish, and 200 plus through interpretation service. Learn more at 1-800-799-7233. Guys, it can happen to you too.
abuse is an equal opportunity thing. Don't be ashamed. Break the cycle. Granny Whisperer just super chatted me 1999. Thank you so, so much. Happy Easter to you and Mr. Bat. Have some peeps on me. Thank you so, so much, Granny Whisperer. $20. Thank you so, so much. That, that is very, very generous of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's very, very sweet of you. Thank you. Okay, let's go on to something else. That's why I don't like covering Jessica. I hate covering her. Makes me sad. Nat's into pizza. All right, I'm going to pause for the cause and I will be right back. I'm back. Ugh. All righty. Single wide cracked water pipes, etc. Good. Uh, you got any good critical topics? Anything good happening? Uh, anything? Anything interesting on your end? Anything? Um, well, um, um, they're um, they are they are um, oh going to give me God. 25 more a month rent since our, our water lines are connected. And so they're going to give me an extra 25 a month to cover for the water bill. David, I am so sorry. I'm sorry. That's rough. Yeah. I'm I don't know what to say. I'm sorry that that happened. Hey boo. And so, you know, that's that'll take care of that. So that equals that all out. And so, um, but they're working on their water, trying to, you know, I mean, there's tons of leaks. Uh, the frost, uh, the frost allowed FEMA to, to leave and never come back. And so we've got tons of leaks uh, from the, from the bitter cold and from those two storms that have to be fixed. They are in the process of fixing them. And, um, you know, and so uh, uh, we're getting everything done. They're going to put new skirting on the front of the trailer. And because uh, my trailer's rented out, I got my trailer rented out now, and so um, so uh, they're going to put new skirting on the front, and and um, I told them to get that fake rock that looks like rock, you know, and um, and because it's made out of metal, number one, and plus it 
Von Helton? You're probably a slum lord. You're more than likely a slumlord. Those things are probably not inhabitable. It looks better, and uh, so they're gonna they're gonna try and get that if it ain't if it's affordable. Uh, but um, you know it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be really nice when they get her done, man. They they love that trailer. They love. So what happens when you have mental problems and you don't get help? Life gets a good deal more complicated, David. To say the least. I didn't want to admit that I had a problem for years. Till I wound up in a coma. The fancy woodwork inside. See that okay. the inside of my trailer. The inside of my trailer is full of fancy woodwork, man, from back in the day. It's beautiful inside. That's awesome that you got people that are actually caring, loving people. Yeah, isn't that great, man? And, and you, you know, have everything, and you got these new people that everything's in writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not, and not only that, but uh, the the people that I rented the double wide to just happened to be the guy's father. So, so there oh, you go. Okay, yeah, you told me. So that there you again. go. It worked out good. So yeah, but yeah, man, everything's coming together, man. Everything's coming together really nice. Supposedly. I paid the last payment on the phone this month. So next month, I shouldn't have this big whop of $90 bill uh, from from uh, from Spectrum uh, because I had to pay $66 uh, a month on the phone to pay it off. So hopefully to, this month was the last month that I paid that payment. And then so starting in April, I don't have that big bill. Okay, so that would be right. nice. 30 bucks is a hell of a lot easier to handle than 90. <laughs> so. Yeah, like I said, David, my life was very complicated for years because I didn't want to admit that I had a problem. <laughs> Who the hell wants to admit that their deployment got to them? Who the hell wants to admit it? Nobody wants to fucking admit it. Nobody. I didn't want to admit that it got to me. I'm, you know, I kept saying, I'm not a fucking baby. That didn't get to me. Ugh. I'm all right. I don't need none of that shit. I'm good. Y'all are the one with the problem. And I saw how far that took me. I shouldn't be sitting here. By all rights, I shouldn't be sitting here. So I heard the good news. You got your uh, single wide rented out. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I got I got three of the four property. Pro Three of the four properties are now rented, and um, you know they're they're um, a, applying some of their rent towards fixing the properties up. Oh, thank you, Tina. How are you doing today, yeah. Tina? Well, I think it'd be a good deal, like rent it out for three hundred fifty bucks a month, and they in return they fix it up. That's the plan. That's you can't exactly find a place the, anywhere for three fifty. That's exactly the plan. Um, they're getting a reduced rent exactly David. and in exchange they're working on it a little at a time until they get it all repaired and and fixed you know uh <laughs> i got this email from a troll saying they're gonna they're gonna file a goddamn lien on you no, no, no they're no. not and sounds so like a good not. deal to me they oh you're up. fine randall yeah you're fine. they're not gonna file a lien against me are you no. fucking high they're not yeah, they are. a good deal why would they file a lien against me that would be stupid they would do, well first of all it would it's probably not even legal but even if it was uh, it would be stupid on their part because they're getting a damn good deal you know no, um, you, but, you do know if you want to go over and inspect you have to give them like a notice or something right yes i'm well aware of that okay. i took real estate law remember <laughs> yeah. 
I took real estate law in school. People keep forgetting that shit. Uh, I got to keep reminding everybody, I guess. I took real estate law in school. I know what I'm doing. But in any event, um, yeah, this is going to be fucking awesome, bro. I mean, it's going to be great. It's going to be great, man. And uh, they're happy. I'm happy. Uh, everything's and, – and the guy's even like, hey, man, we'll come and clean your house as part of the rent. I'm going to go ahead and stop this right here and read this off. This is for all my brothers and sisters out there. I know I got some brothers. David's my brother. Von Beardo's my brother. Hotline for veterans. If you need to talk to someone right away and are having crisis of any kind, call the Veterans Crisis Line at 1-800-273-8255 and press 1. 23 a day is not a joke. It's not a joke. You don't care. I said, sure. Yeah, we'll, work something out. we'll work something out. Why not? Yeah. Fuck yeah. So uh, it's, it's working out great, man. Um, you know, they've been putting a lot of trash on the burn pile and burning it and getting that out of the way all the old nasty shit getting it out of there and getting it burnt and uh so that's good um, it's it's weird seeing my my single wide trailer empty again though it's kind of weird you know because there's nothing in it now it's completely empty now what you're gonna need to do is uh if, if it's okay with them you need to film a video just to pwn the trolls you know well i yeah i'm well i'm i'm going to i mean it is my property i can yeah. i can film it and especially as you know none of their shit's in there yet so I can film it all I want, as long as yeah, there's I, shit. I do it when it's empty. Well, it yeah, it's in, well, it is empty. It's completely empty right now. So I can go over there and and film that shit, and and you know everything's fine. As long as long as there's shit ain't in there, I can. <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, so yeah, I'll do exactly that. I'll film now that it's empty and shit, and you know now. Uh, he said the wife, his wife, wants to come over and do a deep clean, um, probably uh, on the end of the. Well, probably today, actually. What, in your double wide? No, the single wide. Oh, I see. And um, so I'll probably um, maybe get over there and film it uh, before she does, starts that deep clean. <laughs> and then, because uh, it's completely empty. Uh, well, now's the there. best time to make a video if it's okay with them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they're there. I mean, they'll be there. I'm not going to do anything without them there. That's that's not you know that's not uh, good that's not good etiquette. Every time I see Erwin, um, I know I know in Throw Mama from the Train, the guy's name was Owen. All I can think of is Erwin. Give me a cup with some ice. That's all I can think of. Sorry. <laughs> Give me a coke with some ice. Don't give me the salted. Don't give me the unsalted nuts. The unsalted nuts make me choke. Be, you know they need to be there when I do anything. So, uh, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be great, man. It's gonna be good. I be can't wait to see the trolls rage. <laughs> yeah, because that's all they can do is rage. That's all they can do. Because uh, uh, shit's done now, man. Why do you think? Why do you think I kept my mouth shut before everything was done? Because mm -hmm. I want to make sure nobody could fucking fit, uh, mess up what was going on. That was a whole damn point, you know. I kept my mouth shut. Okay, let's see what else we got. Fat Photog. Zompocalypse. Previously. And what the fuck? Why can't people just give me my fucking money? I don't understand. You know, the bank owes me money. CPS owes me money. Fucking uh, district court owes me money. Although I realize why they can't pay because it's $24,000. <laughs> it's a lot of fucking money. 
And then, and then, you know, and then of course the frost had my money and, you know, and it's just like, God damn, you know, if everybody give me my fucking money, I'd be all right. I'd be okay. But nobody wants to give me my fucking money, man. You were delusional. Oh, speaking of cannibalism, uh, there was another. Okay, Guido, report. thanks. Um, they found a man eating a, uh, a, a victim of a train accident. Oh yeah, shit! Holy shit! That story. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. He and, and oh my and, god. And when, the, and when the police go to arrest him, he holds the leg up. <laughs> oh my god. And yeah. Now, really? Uh, now, you gotta now, be kidding me. But well, now here's here's what now here's what fucking crime scene picked up a leg of a guy that got run over by a, a train. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Started shit. eating it. Now here's the thing though. Okay, he wasn't a cannibal. Okay, because a cannibal is somebody that's in the right mind. This guy was a maniac, which means he was out of his mind, which means he's a zombie. He's a zombie. What? Okay. And I what? and I told him, him. him. And then the broad daylight she was on and, I told, and I told him, I said, listen, this is this is a this is a, hey, this is Mousy, a how you doing, baby? foreshadowing of what's to come. Oh, what? Because there's like me and John Reed. What? Zombies. Zombies. Are you fucking high? Are you high? Reported a while back. There are six drugs on the streets right now that will literally turn you into a zombie. You'll be out of your mind yeah. and you want to consume human flesh. Okay. There's six drugs on the street that will do that to a human being. Okay. And I, this guy mm -hmm. eating the leg, according to every news report I read. Where, where, what town was this? Where was this at? Uh, New York? Yeah. You got to watch it out. No, it's in California. Some uh, California. Back oh, it's back California. Back. California. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But uh, but yeah. yeah and I told him, I said, here, here comes the zombie apocalypse, guys. Watch out. Hey, man. Was, <coughs> oh. crackers channel. I saw that. Oh. It's coming. Man, that is that is. Oof. Oh man. Bye. I cannot stand watching this guy gum his damn food. You grody son of a bitch. Huh. They're sitting there chowing down, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. Zombie I apocalypse mean... is coming, people. You bet. Oh, Vaughn lost his... We lost Vaughn again. You know, uh... What time's the stream tonight, well, Mousy? What can we do for you today? You got a nice little picture. Oh, oh my God. God. Very good. Oh. And this is what we're talking about. Word bomb! You're going to have to edit, you're gonna have to edit that, you know? No, we're on Rumble, so it doesn't matter. My final statement is, is that now that I have money coming in, things change. Yeah. And I've, not, I've, and I've got friends now. I've got people that are around me now, mm -hmm. so I'm not isolated anymore. So when somebody starts a rumor, I've got people right here that can say, no, he's been here the whole time, or no, he doesn't do that shit, or no, uh, you know, because see, when you're isolated, it's real easy for people to spread rumors about you and lies about you. Yeah, I know. They love casting excursions. They do. Yeah, yes, he was. Absolutely. Yeah, he was. Now, so, they, you know, and uh, they, they can't do that no more. It's a, I, the only thing I regret is that this shit didn't happen. When Andrew was still here and the kids were still here. That's the only problem I have. I wish that that had happened while they were here. And, um, you know, but I mean, you know, the gods have their ways and their ways ain't always our ways. And so, you know, whatever. Um, but um, there's a plan. They have a plan. And they're going to see their plan to fruition. And, um, you, know, we'll, you know, we'll make it happen somehow. You are so stupid. You are just like dumb. 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 Fucking dumb. Okay.
Okay. Let's go to Drama Clip Dump. He was a good man. There's no doubt. I feel it. Be better than you. Well, somebody just said in the last stream, Shanny's already sexy. That's right. Where? Feel sexy. I know you don't. Yeah, it's because you feel sick all the time. But you are still pretty. Oh. Where at is this bitch pretty? Where at is this bitch pretty? Pretty ugly. Pretty fat. Pretty gluttonous. Pretty abusive. Pretty stupid. Pretty conniving. What is she doing? Why uh, does she, she always acts up at night? Her deal. I don't know. Gavin's even was alerted. Thank you for our mouths not feeling dehydrated. That's correct. Do you want to be on camera? No, I'm all right. Okay. Both of us don't want to be on camera. <laughs> uh, he streams on... Uh, on both of us. What is the in name of it? Like in in, in, um, in Rumble. Between. He streams on Rumble, uh, Tina. Uh, okay. Omni streams on Rumble, Tina. Look at this fuck face. He is a fuck face. You tell me that Rev is not a fuck face. There we go. Tell me he's not a fuck face. Yeah, and I want you to know that the cigarette deal, a lot of time, I... You are a fuck face. Your face is frozen in just, in just complete fuck face. You are. You were born a fuck face. You will die a fuck face. Fuck face. I have Buddy here that knows the times we're in. Hey, Pulse of Defiance. And he gives me cigarettes, man. Nice old guy with a beautiful dog named Penny. <laughs> That's so sweet. He's such a nice man. He's a widower. He worked for uh, Home Depot for like 15 fucking years doing carts. And now he's like, yeah, you need cigarettes? Come to me. They're nice, too. Oh, yeah, the ones he gives us are real nice. But thank you for the help, Ugh. because we no longer feel like we're dehydrated. You just want a soda to drink. Just say it. You want a soda to drink. I get that way. It happens. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna do some sideways shit, own it. Just own it. Say, hey, I want some sodas. Just like if I was to ask y'all for something, I would just say, hey, I want this. Can y'all help me out? Own that shit. Say, hey, I want some sodas. You know, you managed to say, I need more medicine. How about say, I want some sodas. Instead of trying to make this big old cock and bull story about the water being hypoxic, you stupid ass. Oh my god, that's so weird. What is with the water here? I don't know. The water's really strange, though. That's nice, really Tina. Like, I don't, I've smoked a lot of weed in my life, and I don't even know a weed strain that does that 
that gives you that type of dry mouth. No, yeah. It's very fucking. It's almost like, impossible to. You know what? Weed gives you dry mouth. Medications give you dry mouth. Certain foods give you dry mouth. You could be getting dry mouth from anything. Why don't you quit acting like, you know, something's wrong with the water. And just say, hey, I want something other than water to drink. Own the shit. Damn. Live with it. It really is, it agitates you to the point where it's almost hard to exist. Don't drink the tap water. No. We're going to get it. We're going to uh, eat Fiji water. Uh, Fiji water? That's my favorite. Bottled water. Fiji. Fiji water? Yeah, well, that's expensive. I say, you know. Fiji water? You're lucky I don't spit in a bottle and hand it to you. you know, just regular freaking water would just be fine. Yeah. I I like Arrowhead. Arrowhead's good. You know. I like Deer Park. Deer Park's nice. They're pretty. That's pretty good. Nestle water's horrible. Oh, it's so horrible. And what's Nestle wrong with Nestle water? water? Lake Superior, and really weird things are happening. What's fucking wrong with Nestle water? Nestle water's just fucking fine. You don't like it because it's cheap. You fucking idiot. Superior because of Nestle. it. Yeah. You wish Bernie Sanders was president right now. Yes. Uh, I'd say <laughs> I. Yeah. What's your favorite strain? Alpha Blue. The, number one? Yeah. Number one. Alpha Blue. Okay. But, but, I will always love a good hit. I could serve you dish water in a Fiji bottle and you'd still drink it thinking it was Fiji water. Don't even act like y'all got some class and sophistication. Haze. Ghost train haze is the shit. Uh, green crack is always good. Jack Harrer is awesome. Man. Jack Harrer is the bomb. Maui Wowie is always a treat. Now, my favorite will always be Granddaddy Purple. That gets me where I need to be, is Granddaddy Purple. Those exclusive joints, oh my God. I had two or three of them done, <laughs> done, baked, happy, baked and happy. The exclusive Granddaddy Purps, ah. Ever try Pineapple Express? Of course. Mm, I'll go on. It's very sweet tasting. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a but, sativa. Yeah, that's see, the deal. See? See, I'm a hybrid girl. He's an indica. He he likes indicas. Yeah. I like hybrids. Yeah. I could do uh, hybrid. Yeah. I can do hybrid. I can't do sativa. It's, no. Sativa ain't good for me. Yeah, wedding cake is awesome, too. I so think it's nice. I think that's what my buddy it's gave. Nice mild. When I first tried weed, I think that's what my buddy gave me. He gave me a. You know what? That's a hell of a thing to keep in the Bible as a book, as a bookmark. Do you keep that alongside your naked lady air freshener? A heavy sativa, so it felt like I was literally on speed, and that's not no. <laughs> hell no. That's bad. No, I've never seen that see-through gypsy. Your mind is going to different planes of existence and you can't handle it. And man. I hear the cops coming and everything. No. I heard Dude. sirens immediately. I'm like, that's it. They know. I used to like sit down. Just let it ride. Just sit Just sit down for a second. I could see that that hit you really. He laughed when I took the hit because the hit was, I took a fucking huge hit. <laughs> He went, oh, my God, okay. Well, you know how to hit that, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I think I had the idea of how to do it. So, And I immediately, my heart went from 60 beats to about 100. 
And I started shaking like fucking mad. And I said, he, he said, he said, oh man, okay, it's hitting you right now. You gotta sour, sit down. Sour, sour diesel's good shit too. Sour diesel. Yeah. Yeah, that's some good shit. I've had a, I, I, I told you, I've had a lot. You want me to get our weed list out of my Bible? No, nah, that's okay. We got a weed list. We do. It's in my Bible. Do you keep that along? Like I said, do you keep that alongside your naked lady air freshener that you keep as a keep as a bookmark in the Bible? God, y'all have no class. Of our best weeds we've that we smoked. Fucking nuts. Rev, you should see if you could work at cannabis growth facility in PA. That absolutely. That's that's you need you need certifications for this shit. Which you can get. Yeah. Uh, that would be a dream job. Like I've been at, I, that's one of the places I've been asking all around here. Smoke shops, like hire me, man. Vape shops. I've been trying to get jobs at vape shops. They all hire their own people, though. They, it's, they're all owned by Arabs or Indians, and they hire their own. They don't hire like some white dude. They don't do it. They hire their own people, which I understand. That's fine. But you. Time for the commercial. Gotta pay the bills in this place. Please like, share, and subscribe. Really helps me out when you do. So uh, reach down, give that subscribe button a little tickle, and slap that like button on the way out. Also, we have memberships starting at $1.99. That's right, folks, starting at $1.99, which will get you in at Bad After Dark's members-only stream tomorrow. Tomorrow. At 7 p.m. Be there. Or I will put naked pictures of Shani, Sabella, Rev, and Corky in your inboxes. All ugly crying. And masturbating and using their tears as lubricant. Just give me a bone, man. No, you know, I work at one in MD, no degree or anything. Okay. I don't know. I I hear you need badges and shit to get into those type of places. So. Oh, oh no. Hey, Lamar. I'll ask. There's a couple dispensaries near us, not many. Like one. You got me. <laughs> There's two. Hey, Lisa B. Hey, Lamar. There's two. What do they call it? Like botanical justice or something? Something like that. <laughs> Cannabis justice? It's for medical. Mm. You have to have a med card to get in there. What is your dream job? I don't even know. I really, I think a zookeeper, though. Cat sanctuary. I think I'd be happy forever if, if, as a zookeeper. Well, considering the fact that you uh, have a pachyderm sitting next to you, you should be pretty well versed on how to care for for the, everything in the pachyderm house. We have a pachyderm house. And Shanny's ate it all eight of Shanny's asses are still bigger than those elephants and hippos. Cat sanctuary. Animal. A cat sanctuary. That's where you want to work. You know, that, that does sound like a cool fucking job, but you'll never get one there. And as far as being a zookeeper, Rev, you have to have a clean criminal record for that. As far as I can tell, you know, you ain't got that. So, sucks to be you. Those are awesome. And they're fun. They are. I love my babies. And they don't judge you, you know? 
Yeah, they don't judge you. And they comfort you when you cry. That was right. That's accurate. They are by far the best in the world in animals. Humans, man, I wish they learned that no judging thing and just let people just Hey, have. right. Good luck with that shit. I know, right? Hey, UPS uh, guy 24-7, how you doing? And that sucks, too. <laughs> My cats judge me constantly. They silently judge me. Girl, you ain't wearing that, are you? You gonna eat that? You gonna eat that? You know, you're gonna let me have that, right? You don't need that. My cat silently judge me all day long. Judge me little creeps. <laughs> they are. My cats judge me silently all damn day long. I can just hear them in their own little kitty whispers sitting there gossiping about me and John all day long. Did you see them two today? <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> What you doing? I'm just putting my side for sale with clothes. See, I told you. Oh, wow, UPS guy. I'm trying to. I love my cats. I know. I'm always conscious of that. I know. You don't want to be that. Well, mistake. David you Anthony, to be fair. Behind you. To be fair, Shanny does act like a baby. So. She should be treated as such. She acts like a baby. What's your deal? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> She's always got some kind of friggin' deal constantly. <laughs> She's up to something. It can never be just peaceful and whatever. It's got to be. It's got to be. She has a deal. Guys, 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 guys. And then guys, she's going to rub guys, her face on something for 10 hours and then eat her crotch for another 10 hours. Why do you have to say it like that? You dumb son of a bitch. Why can't you just say cleaning herself? Why can't you just say cleaning herself? Eating her crotch. You fucking pervert. And, and guys. That guy peep over there. It's judging me. It is silently. It is silently judging me. It's been sitting there judging me for weeks. It judged me when I bought it. <laughs> Oh, no, girl. <laughs> and break something. Hey, Sage. Cat sanctuary. I mean, yeah. That's my dream job. You love cats more than anything ever. That's true. So that's it. They're my people. Morning, Pew Pew. So, I would want to own a cat sanctuary. Well, like, I mean, I, I do think the dream <laughs> job, if you really want the dream dream, is a successful streamer. I don't think you can get a better career than that. Because you once you're successful, like somebody like, like Hassan Abi, I'd say, like he's successful at it. Uh, you're retired quick, and and you just do it because you like it. That's You're exactly like, like right, Lamar. It doesn't matter how much money he ends up making. This is my prediction because for Shani. 
And this is this is what I think is going to happen. She's going to wind up in a nursing home with no visitors. No visitors, no one to care about her. And she's going to die by herself. And she's pretty much chosen that for herself. She chose this. There will be no more no mourners at her funeral. Or very few. That's just plain sad. I know at least one or two people will show up. You put some food out. <laughs> if it was my funeral. I know at least one or two will show up. He actually enjoys doing it. So like the real, real dream, I think as a streamer, if you're into it, because I like doing live stream stuff. I That's fun as shit. Like reviewing videos or talking about the news or whatever. You know, uh, successful streamer. That's it. Because you could, once you're successful, your stuff re revenue generates every month anyway. So you might not even have. You oh my god! Week, and you have more money than you don't know what to do with. Because it's it's just. I don't think so, Lamar. Are the level of some. I really don't think so. Uh, that's it. With the wet brain. That damaged his brain and him burning out every synapse in his brain with drugs and alcohol. I think there's no saving him. He's just as irredeemable as she is. There is no getting either one of these back. They don't want to come back. Rev is always going to need someone to take care of him. And that's a sad way to live. I personally want to stand up on my own two damn feet. I'm sorry. What? Being a streamer seems stressful to me. I'd prefer something that uh, uh, doesn't always have you under a magnifying glass. Yeah, that's true. But if you ignore <laughs> it, for the most part, it's fine. You know, you have to learn to not listen to certain voices, the ones that are there just to literally make your day bad. If you focus yeah, on that. Yeah, she did. His mother did not do him any favors. And you'll also get big. His mother did not do him any favors by coddling him. He was coddled. These two are the result of not being told no. Not being made to do anything. Being catered to. That is what the that is what the end result is. These two baited into doing bad stuff and saying bad stuff, and then you're canceled. Okay, it's not easy being a streamer in that sense. It's not easy. I don't know, Sage. But How you doing, Sage? You're the type of person that's motivated, and you know that okay, I'm good at this. I can do it. And you can focus on the headline. Oh, hey, Nick. Hey, Sabella. How y'all doing? Uh, glad you could join me today. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And I hope you have a good time talking about me. Because ain't none of that shit you saying is true. Fuck face. 
Oh, and always believe in yourself. Lines and talking about the issue and not yourself and not all of this other noise, then you're going to be good. Hassan had in roses. Yeah, sink is, uh, yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah, I love my new job. He wouldn't say it's all on his own merit, but he's so good looking that women would want to watch him anyway. Like, he's very handsome, so it wouldn't matter, I think. I think. Jenkins, I don't know, his David. Is more attractive. I don't know. Well, whatever. He's just objectively good looking. Fair. It just it takes good constitution to be a street. Yeah. It's not easy. No way. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's not easy. It, but in in this sense. But if you love it so much, uh, and it's something that you're really passionate about getting your voice out and like because you think you got some good fucking ideas. Uh, it's not. Oh wow, Lamar. I didn't consider when I was doing a radio show that wasn't work to me at all. It was awesome. It you was know what just... my problem is now with live streaming? Huh. My the drugs that I'm under. Yeah. Kicking in. Yeah. And I'm not very functional, and I zone out. Energy. And... Energy. Yeah. That's bullshit. You just don't want to do it. You're lazy. You're too lazy to even fucking beg. How wonderful. Uh, yeah, like it like the gabapentin really kicked in right now and I'm like uh, Yeah, I feel you. Like I'm in another I want some heavy stuff to try for pain and um, yeah, neurological you able shit. To, you wouldn't be able to move at all if you didn't have the meds you have. That's true. You wouldn't, you'd be bed bound. Yeah. No fucking shit. I think that's accurate. Oh, he's but griping about me and Carrie again. What's at least keeping you not. Nick's brought, uh, griping about me and Carrie again, and you can just keep griping. I don't give a shit, and I don't care to look at it. I'll look at it later, if later occurs. If it's too fucking long, I'm not going to look at it, or I may skim through it, but I'm not going to cover it, because let's face it, Nick is boring. He's very boring, unless he's raging. Kind of like these two. And it's a struggle to make to make them palatable and to make them entertaining. <sighs> Nick can suck my dick. He can. He can suck my dick. Bed bound. Yes. But yet, it takes away from my mental abilities. Yeah. So. Which is just a consequence of being sick. Yeah. That's it's not true. your fault. It's just what it is. It's. Have you guys considered voting for RFK Jr.? Holy Lord. No. Uh, wow. File. Whoa. He took way too many trips on Epstein Island, if you know what I mean. I don't. Uh, That's a no for me. I pass on that one. Boy. I, I think my... And, you know, I don't know what it is with Nick thinking everybody's got the hots for him here lately. I certainly don't. I'm happy with what I have at home. You know, I'm perfectly fine with what I have. I don't lust after that man. Quite the opposite is actually true. Quite the opposite. The best route on that one is just not to comment at all. I honestly don't I wouldn't touch him with a hundred meter cattle prod. I don't have any opinion on RFK Jr. So, 
that's my answer. If he were on a ballot, uh, I wouldn't vote for him. If that's what you want, yeah, that's what you want to know. I wouldn't vote for him, no. Uh, I'd vote for Bernie. I could say confidently I would vote for Bernie. I could say wow. I would vote for uh, Jenk Uger, who is running in 2024. And if I went to the polls, I would vote for Jenk Uger, to be honest. Because he's honest, he like knows some shit, and uh, I think he could maybe get something <laughs> done. Maybe. You know who wasn't on Epstein Island? Joe Biden. Right. <laughs> And, and, you know, I, I, I apologize in my own mind to Joe Biden, and, and I'll say it, you know, because those pictures of him with kids and sniffing hair was real weird. Yeah, that is. It's too. really bizarre. But the fact is, is he's just a handsy guy. Wah, 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 wah. You're getting sped up because you're boring. He, he, he loves on people. I don't believe he's a pervert. If it came out that Joe Biden's a pervert, I would be really shocked. Like that would really legitimately shock me. But they have those weird videos of Joe like sniffing little girl's hair and stuff. And that is weird. That's, it is. It's weird, but I don't think he's one of them. I don't think he's Trump. Trump is okay with Ivana, Ivanka. He'll grab you by the pussy. He's at a party, right? There's, pic there's video, there's pictures of, he's at a party and Ivanka's there with him, his daughter. Who at the time, yeah. was like, Playboy. His daughter's like 13 or 14. Oh my God. Was that Playboy Man? No, that is so wrong. She's grinding on his penis. Um, okay. No, because this is about an hour long. The Bible, okay. And then you'll say, uh -huh. well, what about Lot's daughters and Lot? Well, that's a unique situation, okay? Abraham said, go that way, and he went this way, and Lot's like, I'm going to lose everything. Right? <laughs> he needed offspring. So he fucked his daughters. It's whatever. But this is insanity, okay? This Why is, is it? This is I got a shit. question. His daughter. Why is it that the most repulsive fucking people in the world think that they're fucking attractive? I mean, just butt fucking ugly. I mean, you gotta you gotta sneak up on a glass of water to take a fucking drink ugly. Gotta put a pork chop around your neck to, to get the dog to play with you, ugly. They, you can stop a clock with your face, ugly. You can shatter mirrors with your face just by looking at the mirror, ugly. You can turn men to stone, ugly. think that they're so fucking hot. Why? How the hell does that work? How can you be fucking repulsive and think that you look like a god or goddess? I would give anything to have that kind of... that. No, I don't want that much delusion. There's grinding on his penis. Now you say, well, what the hell's wrong with Ivanka? Yeah. Oh my fucking God. Stop it, Rev. What's wrong with Ivanka? It's like she was probably groomed. This is like crazy. We always like, referenced her in a sexual manner. Hey, Mom Lane. Your daughter they were sexualize your own child. We're Christians. How you look at that behavior and you're just like, oh, okay. How do you have the stomach to sexualize your own child is the question. Well, there's that. I mean, that it's just an abnormal fucking anomaly to me. Like, I look at my sons and I don't, I don't, I, I, yeah, that, no. Yeah, I'm feeling this. You know, you say I'm on fire. Thank you. I mean, it's, you know. Oh, thank you, coffee I, artist. Yeah, you're going to vote for Biden again. And I think, yeah, that's right. And I think that's the appropriate thing to do if you have to pick one of them. Oh, Biden nice, long Oh, Clear. Uh, clear. Nice. nice how's how's well, your kid doing? This is, this is like a test on people's morality. Are you going to give this self, you know, a billionaire who does weird things with his daughter, Why? has committed fraud all over the place, is indicted all over the country. He's been accused by 24 different women. Found guilty of sexual assault on women. You can't. In two you know, countries. 
really England and, oh and my god America, they settled in England yeah you can't in good kind is there any way you can put a kitty trap out for her and get her get her spayed so that she doesn't have any more little babies wow wow damn put pull a lever for that insurrection there's that one too yeah I, I mean, I, anyway, I like, it's just like, does mortal character count anymore for a political Woo! Person? Pew Pew I mean, just I, gifted I five rabbit old bat memberships. Wholesomeness out of someone, not. Pew Pew Destroyer of Worlds just gifted five old bat memberships. Thank you, Pew Pew Destroyer of Worlds. You are awesome sauce. Thank you for supporting the channel. You are, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That is very generous of you. And you know what? Y'all's generosity never ceases to amaze me. Y'all are great. Thank you very, very, very much. Not someone who calls everyone that used to follow him horrible names. Like, he always says he's a good judge of character, but yet these people are apparently backstabbing him and stuff. Yeah. No, they're going to the press and being like, listen, this guy is bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... He to be a dictator. Okay, a I'll give this song. I'll take a dictator for four years instead of Joe Biden. Yeah, your voter registration should be. If you got a membership from See Through Gypsy, be sure to thank her. Or Pew Pew Destroyer of Worlds, be sure to thank her. And I'll sing the song. Welcome to our club. Welcome to our club. Welcome, 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 welcome to our club. There. Be shredded. Like this country isn't a dictatorship. And then, and then you have the gall to say you're a patriot. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you're a patriot that wants a dictator. That doesn't exist. Okay, that's not a patriot. Trump put himself on the Bible, but Biden is the only one who goes to church. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, Joe actually goes to church. I'm surprised Vivek didn't go further in the GOP. He should have because he's got all of the tickers, but he's not a white guy. He's an Indian. So that's, yeah, they're racist, so they're not going to want yeah, you. Yeah, they are. I think politics is too difficult to gain traction on social media. You need a backer who can get you through uh, startup costs. Production value has to be the top. Yeah. Politics is all, it's, that's another, it's just another industry. I mean, it's a fucking, it's another scheme, capitalist scheme to destroy people. Oh my God, I sound like a fucking communist revolutionary. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to start wearing Che Guevara fucking shirts. I'm just, I, I am not affiliated. Yeah, we should. We need to start working together and I don't care. You should. What you call it. But, um, I don't know. Rev is busy pondering the problems of our nation. And he can't be bothered looking for something as petty as a fucking job. Oh, no, 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 no. He's going to fix shit. He's going to fix shit. Socialism, I don't care. As long as your fellow man is taken care of and... It's very hard anymore for me to even recognize uh, myself because with losing everything shows you things. And if I thought it was okay, the position I was in, and and by no hey, Eileen Ebony, how you doing? And and then you see everybody else the way they must live, which is wage slaves. There's no way that this economic system is the best for the country. There's no way. There no. should be an allocation of money to help people, social programs. That's something that should be. And if you just disagree with that, then you got a problem with your humanity. Okay. And everything isn't the size of your fucking bank account. That is not everything. Is it nice to have money? Whoa, 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 whoa. Time the fuck out there, partner. Time the fuck out. When you had money, when you had money, we were peasants. And y'all were flaunting that shit. Now, now you want to, you want to act like uh, money's nothing? Don't be talking out of the other side of your fucking mouth, you idiot. Yeah. It's I know ridiculous. this kind of sounds like 1984, but what about if we had designated housing and people uh, have a house for the rest of their life? Hey, see? Yeah, and then there's no inheritance, basically, in that situation, and it just gets handed off to the next person in need when you die. That doesn't sound too bad. Uh-uh. 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 No, 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 bitch. Nah, bitch. I'm going to tell you how it's going to work. Since this property is mine and my husband's, it will be dispensed with how we see fit.
You dig? We worked. We put forth the blood, sweat, and tears. I don't want to hear it. Like, hey, we're going to assign you. This is where your dwelling is. That's extremely fucking communist authoritarian. You know, like, it is, but no, it would solve the homeless. It, w- it would help it tremendously. We don't build public housing anymore because it became racist stuff. Like Trump. Trump got involved in public housing. You know what he did? They had things all over the walls. No Negroes. Are you serious? They got sued. And that was it. Donnie was done with public housing. I wonder why. You're a racist, Donnie. Okay? <laughs> Holy shit. This is a little too ethnic for me. This was like the 1970s, and he had signs, no Negroes? Are you kidding me? It's insane. That's insane. Hey, Daring Eyebrow Twins. How you doing? Politics and everything. Just God, the Bible, heaven and hell, the devil. I'd rather be more socialist policy. Okay, yeah, communism Communism is will only work with God at the head, okay? That's why I would call myself, uh, I should call myself a monarchist communist because I'm waiting for the, the leadership of Jesus Christ. So, exactly, you know, Hongling. Okay, it is, because he's the king. Uh, his communism will be good. That's true. He will heal the nations, Christ. But it's going to take Christ. That's why it's real to me, okay? The thousand years. Your thing is you don't want to work for anything. You want it just handed to you. Well, you two fucks must have been born under a lucky star. Because you will always land in a bucket of shit and come up smelling like a rose. You always manage to squeak by. I don't get it. Your reign, the kingdom, it's physical, it's not fulfilled. People just want to say it's a friggin' Catholic church. This is how slow they're talking. They're drugged. They're obviously drugged. They're talking so slow that I got them at 1.5 and they sound normal. Absolutely not. All right, that's about, my God, the amount of murder and death put out by the Vatican, and you try to tell me that that's Jesus Christ's actual church? You're full of shit. I'm sorry. The Vatican is geopolitical power, okay? And while the Pope is doing really nice things right now, watching women's prisoner speech, and that's beautiful, okay? But, but, but. They're all crying, and it was just so sweet. It's very sweet. But there's no way that that was Christ's kingdom on earth. No, there's, it's not. Thank you, Hong Ling. There's a literal thousand year reign of Christ, and that's what I attain for. That's what I'm waiting for. And communism, in that sense, will work because Christ has it. And he will heal the nations, not make them decrepit like the friggin' devil that's had a hold of this whole system. Because men are men love darkness rather than light. They want it. They want to rape. They want to rape. Guys want to rape. They want to take it. You know what I mean? It's like they get the. No, they don't. Rudy Giuliani, man. Giuliani was a good man. There's no. No, they don't. You are so full of shit. Without Giuliani was a good man, and then. He started attaining. He wanted to attain the same type of attitude and adoration as Donald Trump. So he started acting like Trump. Well, you want yeah, David. Like now he's accused of sex assault and abuse. See? You are the company you keep at the end of the day. He admired Donald Trump's air about him when he's just slathered in fake makeup and he smells like ass. Like, what the hell? Like, like he's an old man shit in his pants now. Donald Trump is a tough man. A tough man wears makeup. Yeah, and diapers. Like, that's not ageist or nothing. I'm just saying he wants to be a macho man and and. and re- all people put makeup on before they go on, go before a camera or you'll look washed out. Newscasters do it. Actors do it. People on stage and screen do it. I don't know. I was a drama geek. Really, like, you try to put that air off of this alpha. And he shits his pants. A real man respects the women. Thank you. Yeah, that's a hundred percent. You disagree? I think the human nature is generally to be good. It's bad people have built up power structures for generations. Well, power has a tendency to really fuck you in terms of your ethics. And there's no arguing with that. Okay, that's just proven by history. Despots are born because they get god complexes. 
and Saddam Hussein tell you, okay? No good. Cult of personality. They worship their own ego. And you, with you know what? Like that, they should never. They don't realize one day they'll grow old. Shannon can't control her fucking bladder. She has pisses everywhere. Because she's so fucking big. All that fucking weight is putting, is putting, bearing down on her damn bladder. Every time she sneezes, every time she moves, every time there's pressure on her fucking bladder, I bet it breaks loose. Serbian leadership. <laughs> and it's proven time and time again that Stalin, it's Mao. Good thing there's experienced ego death. Yes, the best Jesus. Yes. He sacrificed all of the treasures of being the son of God so that you could have salvation. And that's it. Okay. That's a true leader. The servant is the leader. The servant kings. That's what in the kingdom of God, we are priests and kings and queens under Christ. And that's the priesthood, man. Amen. But it is geopolitical at that point because he's the king and he's on earth. And it's worth you must worship him because he is worthy of it. Amen. It's it, regardless. If you if you don't want to, then he ain't getting your reign, which is very old testament law type stuff, but it's real. And you'll find out when the king's on the throne in Jerusalem. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Jesus doesn't cheat, he doesn't lie. You know what? My husband doesn't dictate to me. I don't dictate to him. I don't tell him what to do. He doesn't tell me what to do. But then again, we're normal adults. They happen to be compatible. We don't fight like cats and dogs. We don't even raise each other. You know what? And if we got to talk about something, we talk about it in a civilized manner without attacking one another. And we've had some serious discussions. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll be right back. I'm going to let this play. Compared to Trump, who cheats at golf games to win his own tournaments that he made. My God. That's embarrassing. How could you support a guy still that you know does that? And he congratulates himself for winning the tournament he cheated at. Oh, my God. Like, th that is not alpha, guys. That's not alpha. If you are into alpha, do you know who alpha males are? Can Assholes. No. Well, stop that. That's really unkind. Well, not all of them are like that. Dude, they all but, abuse women. Okay. But a true alpha is a fucking construction worker. Okay? They put that air off of I do physical labor. That's Shane? an alpha. Yeah. That's, that's an a alpha. true alpha. Yes, that's an alpha. You smell the air and it's the smell of male sweat. Not a self-described alpha. No. Like Mike Rowe. He's an alpha. He's an alpha, male. definitely. Yeah. He didn't have to do all that fucking garbage. I mean, Mike Rowe is so talented. He's got an amazing voice. He, he was an opera singer. Yeah, he's awesome. He, he, he's, his, his speaking voice is amazing. His intellect is amazing. I wish he would stop talking to these weird conservative people. But he's like a, he did an interview with Tucker. I know. He's a conservative. I know, but he's going on Tucker and shit, and it's like, dude, please. That's his place. Mike, you like... can't. Stop. You yeah. know, I don't know. But, but, but society is so fucked. Like, these things even, these structures of thinking, oh, alpha male and a beta male and a sigma male and a smegma male. <laughs> Sorry, I added that one. Ew. This, is, this is stupid. You know he's going to be smelling like Cheetos and Mountain Dew and farts. This shit is dumb. That, that's Yo. my problem with it. Why, we're going to categorize, and then you have guys that are so backward now, like the incel community. They're so backward. Oh, they're so horrible to women. That they're not, but that's, Jesus. I mean, if, if literally, I could have fell, fallen into one of those categories. He really, but, like, the, no, these incels really think women are vapish. They, they have no mind of their own, and they just think about consuming their own whatever. It's just, it's, it's gross how they describe women. I, 100%, I'm going to tell you, to the incel community, you just need to learn how to talk to a girl and not lose your shit. They yeah. girls love it when you just listen to them. Like they they because they all got problems of some kind. Maybe not assume that the woman's role is to make you babies and food. I, well, this is so twisted, and that's this red pill alt right shit. That's so fucking toxic and dog shit. You guys are all just closeted homosexuals that are the heads of that movement, or your sex assaulters. You know, just a woman's a whole, and that's it. Mike was talking positive about RFK Jr. recently, was he? Oh lord, I don't know. Jesus. I support him saying vaccine. An alpha male? You are not an alpha male. You are beta as fuck. Boy, I could punk you. And it wouldn't take much. 
Redskins are dog shit because, yeah, okay, you're, I'm going to agree with him. But the rest I don't know, dude. I don't know enough about his views. I would have to I would have to see an interview with him extensively discussing issues and what he thinks. Is he a communist? Is he a socialist? I don't know. I don't know. If well, no. he's definitely not like his father. No. He ain't Bobby. No. There's no way he's Bobby. No, Bobby would be like, what are you doing? Bobby was going to be president. And they... It's because he was so good with racism. And then they were afraid that John well, F. Kennedy well, Jr. was going to start running for stuff. And his well, the government has the to fear the people who talk together. I mean, God forbid black people. I think... She I think Shani weighs weighs in at uh, close to seven hundred pounds. She's like five ten, five eleven. She is a big, big girl. She is like a fucking sasquatch. She's a skunk ape. She is a fucking gorilla. She'll rip she'll rip your arms off and beat you over the head with them. Damn. She's got hands like fucking, like freaking catcher's mitts. Better hope you don't get caught, bomb. That shit have hurt. White people talk to each other. Oh, like, what in the name of Jesus you know, is this shit? Don't listen to racism. What's the boomer of the night? <laughs> I mean, come on. Just super chatted me $5. Let's see what she has to say. She says, love your reacts. You don't pause and said, you don't pause and you're on point. Rory can't be in chat. Okay. Well, thank you for the $5, Melissa Boomer of the night. I certainly appreciate that. Thank you for your generosity and thank you for supporting the stream. I sure appreciate it. Awesome possum. Thank you. Now, I don't say this often about, a, about another female, but I think this female could actually take me apart piece by piece and whoop my ass. That is a big woman. That is one huge heifer. Trump hit his racism completely, almost. Because I saw the, through it. The way he speaks is very coded. It's underneath. He shoves stuff underneath the door. He's very underhanded fucker. That's because he's deceptive. He's, he's a I don't know. He's a liar. Home he's home I don't know. Gross. Like, ugh. Friggin' Masonic Bible. I don't want to get my hands on one of them someday. Oh. Mastership of the craft in the beginning of the Bible? What is that stuff? Yeah, that seems interesting. That seems interesting. <laughs> I wonder what they say. I already know most. Of I, I read most of Albert Pike's Morals and Dogma. So I'm, God, you were struggling reading that the whole time. I remember when you were reading that. It's well, it's a spiritual book, man. It is a spiritual book. What does that say? Huh? I can't read. They're talking to you. Watermelon. She's got to be right underneath my feet. Has your thirst been quenched? Oh my God! Yes. Do I make music? I I used to make like I used to. I'll leave it at that. I certainly love yeah. playing on the piano. Oh, whatever. It's, I don't even know what the piano is. How, bitch? What instrument do you play? You guitarist? Bassist? Drummer? What do you play? Really good at it. I just screw around with it. I've yeah, but just... you, can make, you can make beautiful music by just screwing around on it. That's impressive. I was pretty impressed with myself that I did the Revelation Moose theme on the piano. I was able to do that by ear. That was pretty good. Because it's exactly what I heard. That piano tune is exactly what I heard. Be the piano man. Make America gangster again. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, the problem, Hong Ling, I think, is that Shani is not what you would call pretty. Now, Hungry Fat Chick's got a pretty face. Um... Chantel's got a pretty face when she's got makeup on and not looking like Uncle Fester. And Amber Lynn Reed's got a pretty face. Shani is not what you call pretty. Shani doesn't take care of herself. Shani does not know how to apply makeup. Shani has not got, a, got any redeeming qualities to her personality. She's got no sweetness about her. 
Hell, I thought fat people were supposed to be jolly. Yeah, I used to, I, I took lessons and everything when I was young, and then my dad died and I quit. Because it reminded me of him too much. No, I don't have a piano here. We had, we had, we had a keyboard, but that's fine, just like everything else. I have an SNES. I'm happy about that. God give us and he takes away. Mm -hmm. Cigarettes and coffee, yeah. and this is a happy boy, pretty much. I could say that. Focus on making music. This sounds great. Well, if I were to focus on anything creative in that way, it would probably be writing again, because I think I got some good ideas for screenplays for Netflix and shit like that. I'd be doing that. Uh, I'm way better at writing a screenplay than a novel. I can tell you that. I'm way better at that. That's what I was writing it as. Is for, the, the book I wrote was originally like in screenplay type format, and I was writing screenplays. I didn't even really realize that. So that's where my real talent is in screenwriting. I think I could do some really awesome. Finish your screenwriting. Yeah, I have two more. Yeah, I have two more parts to write for that. Yep. I have to read the story over again and everything. I know the general gist. They've been living on Tento for a couple hundred years, and the people get pissed. That's true. You know, I can hit that bitch with everything I fucking have. And it would it wouldn't knock her down. And I can hit pretty damn hard. You know, I'm not a wuss. So, you know, when I won't take somebody on. That, you know, it, you know, when I'm like, nah. Dad, you know, even I know when when uh, I'll be biting off far more than I could chew. That woman is built like a fucking grizzly bear. You kidding me? That woman will, will stomp a mud hole in me and stomp it dry if she ever gets her hands on me. But I think, David Anthony, you have something there. <laughs> Running and jumping over shit to make her chase me. <laughs> I could outrun her. <laughs> and their leader. But then again, but then again, we I have the juggernaut theory. Like juggernaut in the DC universe, the uh, in the X-Men, that if she gets up a good good amount of speed, she could probably run my ass over and flatten me like a steamroller. Leadership is dog shit. The Senate is chaos, piece of shit Senate, and they hate them. And there's a rebel group, and they're like, fuck you guys, we're done. We're going to live free. That's what that's the last two parts are. And then the ending is, well, I don't know. Sorry, I'm not talking right now. It's really kicking into me. That's fine. Yeah. I could definitely see my screenplays being on, like, a Netflix series. Definitely. Like a four-part movie series. It's about four movies. Uh, not long movies, though. They would be shorter, but, like, yeah, like, fucking six-minute <laughs> movies, man. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my God! Pieces. That's like a you know what? That is so like, sad. Like, uh, and you know what? HBO that is off series. That's what the, the producer guy oh from my California God. that I was talking to that was going to take my screenplays and try and sell them. He said your best bet would probably be HBO. When's my next doctor's appointment? Because they love this type of stuff. What? When's my next doctor's appointment? Early April. Uh, Early I mean, April. Okay. I'm not sure the exact date. Shit. Do you write while you? Hey Shanny. Hey Shanny. Come get the bud. Come get the bud. I got some bud. <laughs> Do music while you while you still have your hair. Yeah, I know. That's right. I, I hear you on that one. I was thinking about, like, it's a good, I, I should try and find a fucking band because we could be in, like, a 90s cover band, man, if we're doing metal shit. Like, I know I know almost Stain's entire Yeah, I know, Paul. Nine Inch Nails, Tell pretty much the entire it. catalog, I could sing it. Uh, <laughs> typo Negative, the majority of their catalog, I could sing it. Uh... I was actually thinking about that. It's a good idea. System of the Down? Uh, I can pull off some of it. Some of it. Surge is fucking insane. His voice is so incredible. La, 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 la. I could do Disturbed. I, I could I could definitely cover most of their shit. David Draymond. Alice in Chains, I could pull some of them off. Like the Rooster, I could do I could sing the Rooster pretty well. Oh yeah. Fucking nineties cover band. You got a lot of Thank you. Thank you, Damon. April is already next week. I know that's right. It's close. Please do original music. That see, well, that's I mean, that's talent. Like, I'm not Aaron Lewis. I'm not Corey Taylor. I could have music. to take her to a scrapyard yeah, or, or a, the one or a I, I can invent tunes. I'd be more so having Shanny be the everything. She'd be the voice. 
the music shit. No, Hong Lang. Get that done. This and is I the only stuff, one. I do audio production. I, I, I had experience with that. So, because I was in radio and I was cutting my own commercial type deal. It, no, there was no commercials, but it was like, you know, promotions for other people's shit. And I was cutting that myself. So I could do audio production stuff. But yeah, it's funny you bring that up. Getting a band, new music. I, I don't know. It might be. It might be my thing. I don't know. A metal guy that plays piano, that'd be pretty good, though. Like fucking meatloaf coming out. No, who is it? I mean, who, piano dudes. Elton John. Queen? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but yes, that I don't have a Paul staring yeah. eye, eyebrow twins. That'd be cool. I get my tattoos and shit. You know who does metal? You ain't getting no damn tattoos. You don't have no fucking money. And if you do get a tattoo, it'll probably be Cousin Bubba with a guitar string and some uh, blue ink from a ballpoint pen. Like Shanty stuff. Really good mm. in their own way. Mm. Two cellos. Yeah, you're into that shit. You're into that big, big time, the cello shit. Oh, I love, oh, I love the cello. That's my favorite instrument. Ooh. Hi, watermelon baby girls. How much are we begging for? You like the cello because you can pick that bitch up and play it like a violin. <laughs> this is Shandy with a cello. For tonight, hey, if you want to donate something, you can if you want to. I wouldn't mind the pizza, bro. Yeah, Shandy's been craving some food. So if you want to give to the PayPal or whatever, you can. Some bean burritos from Taco Bell. There's that also. Make me a fat girl. I'll, I, I promise. I, I, I don't know. I'm out of it tonight. I, I was actually, girl, I, I could tell you this, man. I was actually, <laughs> was, this is the first time in my life I ever did this, but I was actually writing a song here. I, I had ideas for the opening lines, the, but it's like, uh, blind my eyes from the hurt and the hatred, blind my eyes from all of the fear, blind my eyes from the turmoil and the torment. Jesus, my savior, cleanse all my, cleanse all from my blood. So it's like, it's like, it would be song metal, but you know what? There's already a really talented guy that's doing this type of music in his head. The guy from corn. He does his Brian own. Welsh. Brian Welsh. He does his own shit and it's really good. If you want Christian metal, go go for that. Corpus Christi is a pretty good band too. Write a country song. That's I mean, that's okay. My dog, he died, and I went to go and eat a pie. I was so sad. My dog had died. All right. That's just gonna be a hateful individual. So we're done with that. No hate. We're not doing it. See, I see it in this the bite. You're just gonna be an ass. There. There are certain words I cannot use anymore. One of them is individual. And the other one is narrative. I hate both those words. Thanks to these two fuckheads. I'm, I'm being totally fucking serious. I cannot use either one of these two fucking words thanks to these two idiots. Because they use them so fucking much. And I'm starting to really, really, really dislike the word parasocial. So, I'm done with that shit. I'm not doing it to myself. Uh, that one too. That one too. From the Jason. Ooh. No, I just see that and it's gone. You're, I'm not doing uh -huh. it. Don't do metal, do country. You'd have, I have the look for country. Okay. Well, I'm going to have tattoos at some point, so. Metal's my thing, man. I don't like country. I like metal. I like seven dust. I like stain. That's like. Nine Inch Nails was my number one favorite band of all time, but like they just, they fell off the radar for me somewhat because I like industrial a lot. I like, I like skinny puppy. I like, um. Uh, you know you what? Know, uh, pitch shifter. Uh. Rev can't come up with his own bits. He can't. You know, I'm not going to lie. I steal jokes. I do. If I hear something funny, I steal it. Damn Skippy, I steal it. I ain't going to fucking lie. I steal jokes all the time. But... These two cannot come up with their own bit. They are not creative in any sort of way. They lack talent. 
they lack insight. They lack the ability to correctly use the English language. Uh, I like industrial shit. I like Ramstein. They're in that category, industrial metal. Uh, country is just, no. Nah. <laughs> Tim McGraw's got a good voice and everything. He's cool. Uh, Garth Brooks is fine. You know, but I, no, nah, I wouldn't be singing country, man. Sorry. No, I'd be singing some metal shit, definitely, if I'm doing anything. Exactly. I'm starting to get pretty for exactly. most of Lincoln Park's catalog, so I can say most of that shit. Chester stuff. I could do that. <laughs> I can handle Chester. You can't scream like Chester, bro. Not scream. No, I no hate you that. can't do that, dude. I he hate that. Scream. Using literally. Very unique. Woo! Like asking somebody to do, uh, I love Liebach. I love Liebach. Like, you can't mimic that. You can try to mimic it the best you can, like Mike Rowe. You know, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. But he ain't popular. I literally hate it when literally people use literally as a sentence enhancer literally all the time. Literally. Gets on my nerves. Pavarotti. Once the people are gone, that's it. Like they were that they were a unique <laughs> of what they did, and they're gone. Like Lane Staley from Alice in Change. He'll never replace Lane. Michael Jackson. Exactly. <laughs> Lots of people can sound like Michael. Yeah, a little bit, but it ain't Michael. And you know it's not Michael. AI is pretty amazing and it's getting better. But it's just mimic shit. I swear to God, I heard this clip of Trump that Shady was playing, and, and Trump was saying, Hey, you stupid motherfucker. And I was like, you know what? These two are deluded. They think that they, they really think that they are remarkably fucking talented. I don't delude myself at all. I'm a mildly entertaining person that steals jokes <laughs> and comes online and likes to make people laugh. I like to make people laugh. I love to make people laugh. It's my secondary purpose. So take you outside yourself for a little bit and let you forget. Or maybe let you blow off a little bit of steam. Because the pauses and the cadence was perfect, almost. You know, stupid motherfucker Joe Biden. It sounded exactly like Trump, I swear to Jesus. But it was AI. It was an AI clip. They got his breathing down correctly. This world is getting really fucked I don't like it. No, yeah, yeah. Not it should be halted. Not, it should have never been, but we should. Von Beardo, go to the damn naughty corner. Just go to the naughty corner. Like now. And no Taylor Swifting while over there. You know what Taylor Swifting is. I know you know what Taylor Swifting is. You watch South Park. Halt this shit now. It's going to cause major problems. Yeah, I don't. I, 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 no. No, I don't like where it's going. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not going to follow that shit. Uh-uh. No, no. They think they're gods. They do. And they're, they're talking behind our back saying they're going to kill us, though. Yeah, I know. I guess they're unaware that we can hear them. Tell and they make their own language. That they communicate to. Yeah, they create their own languages. You know what? That we all have. That we can't. This situation wouldn't happen to us because we would realize the direness of our situation and fix it. When I lost my trailer 11 years ago, what did I do? I started searching for places to live. And I actually got a, got a place in a, in a veterans housing unit when John offered to let me stay with him. I asked him if I thought, if he thought that was a good idea. He said, yeah, I know it's a little soon and we've only been dating for like five months, but you know, I love you and I think things will work out. And we've been together, we've been living together ever since.
I had housing lined up. I chose John. I lost my house due to substance abuse. Alcohol. God, I've come a long way since then. A long way. Cypher, we're not smart like them. Okay, I think we got an issue. What? We, that. It, it should be shut down. The, the production of this shit should be halted. Oh, this one? They're not, though. They're not going no, to. I'm that's why Elon's like, okay, you want to do it, I'm going to make money on it, that's for sure. Let me put chips in people's heads. You want to go to full Monty here? What a pig. Let's just put chips in people's brains. Let's do it. And he's doing it, so... Whatever. Oh, I haven't seen it lately, you UPS guy. Mm -mm. Well, whatever. I'm falling asleep, my love. All right. God bless you guys. Thanks for the help. Peace our, and Maranatha. Our mouths you guys. are okay for the night. Yes. Peace. Well, that about wraps it up for me today. I want to thank everybody that came out and saw me. You guys rock. I don't care if you were here for 10 minutes, 10 seconds, or the whole thing. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. You know why? Well, do you? It's because nobody else will. Now, y'all take care, and I will see you for Bad After Dark when I get off work. Which should be 10-ish. Mm, Bye.